So this is one of the important question. It has been asked in JE, and here we can see the exception, exception in inorganic chemistry, right? So this is very important. Just concentrate on this. So here they have given this uh, complex, cobalt complex, cobalt oxalate complex. So in four options, all the four options they have given the same complex, right? So what we can do if I discuss thoroughly about this complex, we can easily solve whether it is paramagnetic. Or diamagnetic, and also we can understand whether it is inner orbital complex or outer orbital complex, right? So let us uh, look into this example in detail, right? Cobalt oxalate thrice three minus, right? So the given complex is this one. Cobalt is there. It has got oxalate C two O four thrice. So six minus, and here it will be three plus. So overall charge will be three minus. So the oxidation state of cobalt here is three plus. This much I I guess you know, right? So I know. Iron next comes cobalt. Its atomic number is twenty-seven. So electron configuration is argon, three d seven, four s two, right? Since here cobalt is in plus three oxidation state, so what I will do? Cobalt three plus means I have to remove two electron from four s, followed by one electron from three d. So I'll get what argon, three d six. I hope this till this you know, right? So once I got uh, the Electronic configuration CO CO three plus that is cobalt three plus. I will just elaborate and write it. So cobalt three plus is argon is there. Argon let me write three d six instead of writing three d six. I will write d five orbitals are there. D x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square d z square. And here next comes three d next four s and four p. These will be empty. Since three d six electrons are there, six electrons. Let me fill. According to Hund's rule, first initially the electrons will be singly filled. Then what happens? Pairing happens, right? So this is the cobalt three plus. So now I am going to talk about this ligand. What kind of ligand? Sorry, ligand. My ligand, sorry, my ligand is this one, C two O four two minus. This is oxalate ligand. If I want to write the structure, it will be like this: carbon, carbon. Double bond O, double bond O. Form this oxygen which is having negative charge. It will coordinate with the cobalt, right? If it is the cobalt three plus, from this it will coordinate bond. It will do. From here it will co coordinate. So this is bidentate molecule. This oxalate is there, right? This oxalate sometimes we will write it as O X. It is a weak field ligand. What is this weak field ligand? It is a weak field ligand. Weak field ligand means they do always outer orbital complex, outer orbital complex. But here you can see the exception. Here you can see what exception. Here the same oxalate, the same oxalate does inner orbital complex. What it does inner orbital complex. You will ask why that is so. So if is it is doing inner orbital means it, now it is acting as strong field ligand. So this is the only exception case you have to remember in which this oxalate is there, right? This oxalate along with this cobalt it shows strong field ligand. That is strong field ligand. It will show this one. So that is the exception here. And the question comes why, sir? Why that is so? The next question is why? Let me talk it here. So here we the, got got that co co cobalt forms. Three plus oxidation state. So here cobalt will be there. Oxalate means bidentate as I have told. So here O O and other O will be like this. So this O minus will be doing the coordinate bond like this. For example, uh, if this is the cobalt at the center, here one bond, 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 here one bond. So here O O and further it will be like this. O further like this. So O. Further like this, so this is the ligand. Overall ligand, I am writing like this, right? So it is forming the complex like this, right? So it is forming the complex like this. So, so since it is forming this chelation, we call it as this is called called as chelation. Because of chelation, the molecule will be stable. So as it is doing chelation, so cobalt six plus are there, right? Cobalt six plus, sorry, yeah, cobalt three uh, plus it means it is having three d six six electrons are there. So as it forms this chelation, here I can write it like d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square d z square. As it is forming chelation, which is stable, 
so this energy gap will be more so it act as strong field ligand so here what energy gap is more six electrons will be filled like this one two sorry one here no pairing happens initially one two three four five six because of this uh, crystal field splitting is more crystal split filling is more so what happens pairing happens because of which it forms what inner orbital complex so if i want to write what happens let me show it here this cobalt 3 plus is there right so it is what argon 3d6 so this 3d6 are like this 1 2 3 4 5 orbital d orbital 6 electrons 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 electron as cobalt here it is chelation it is doing chelation stability so these electrons will move like this so this electron moves like this so i'll get like this so this is 3d here pairing happens so only in this case it act as what strong field ligand other two orbitals remain uh, empty here 4s is empty and 4p is empty so here 4s is also empty 4p is also empty since c in this complex if we can see that Three oxalate ion is coming. Three oxalate, because one oxalate OX will give what? It will give around four electrons. Two form one oxygen. Two form one oxygen. Other two form other oxygen. Because it is a bidentate. We have seen that, right? So two form this oxygen. Other two form this oxygen. Other things remains as it. So total four electrons. So uh, he, here, let me change the color of the pen, and I will show it to you. right so here one oxalate oxygen will give two electrons other this is one oxalate group similarly other one like this like this second oxalate and this oxalate will give like this total three oxalates are coming so here what happens here d2 yes p3 because it is 4s three orbitals so 3 3p here 4s one orbital one here 3d two orbitals so to two so here 2d orbitals 1s orbital and 3p orbital so it what d2 sp3 hybridization so d2 sp3 hybridization so we know that d2 sp3 hybridization means it is inner orbital complex inner orbital complex right and here see we can see that all electrons are paired since all electrons are paired unpaired electrons will be zero so it is what diamagnetic so it is what a magnetic so because of this reason uh, the correct op option for this answer is this one see uh, first it should be inner orbital complex and diamagnetic and inner orbital complex so d option is the correct option c a is paramagnetic wrong b is outer orbital complex wrong c is outer orbital complex and paramagnetic both are wrong d is the correct option so here one thing you have to remember that oxalate is a weak field ligand it is a weak field ligand but only in this sketch that is cobalt which is in plus 3 oxidation state oxalate oxalate act as strong filled ligand so this thing you have to remember thank you